hello, um, I'm just a random person on the internet that uh, installed Sterling PDF um, on TrueNAS scale. And this is the Cobia release, but it was an earlier version back when I installed it. But I just wanted to show an example of installing a Docker image um, like Sterling PDF, which is pretty easy to do uh, on to the system. Uh, in case you've never done it before, I didn't find anyone else that just showed a YouTube video on how to do something like this. So I thought maybe it might be helpful uh, to somebody at least. Um, I had to stop this one because the container port that it used was 8080 um, and it was kind of messing with it when I installed it a second time and I'm not too sure on how to change stuff. Um, but anyways, so what you do is you go to Google and type Sterling PDF and it will, the first link is gonna be their GitHub page. And so you can click here, you can click the link and then it will take you to the uh, web page. My window's a little bit smaller just so it doesn't like show everything on my desktop. Um, but what you do is you scroll down to where it talks about Docker and you can click the link uh, for their for the user's uh, app there. And then when you go there, um, it'll take you to the main page for it and you can scroll down and see what the different settings are within the um, Docker Compose command, which shows the internal port, the container port here. And then it shows what the image name is, which is like the repository uh, in TrueNAS. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click uh, Discover Apps. And then here on the right, you're gonna see it says uh, Custom App. And then let it uh, pull up the page here. And I'll just call it SPDF for Sterling PDF. And then in the image repository, um, you just pull the name that it showed here in the image. So Frutal slash S hyphen PDF. And for the image tag, it's latest. That was the same as what it says here. Um, I don't remember quite where it said, but it talked about uh, right here, uh, the latest. So um, once now that once you leave it as latest, uh, you can scroll down here and move it to a better port. Um, I just left the DNS policy as whatever the default is. So for port forwarding, I take the container port of 8080 and let's just say I make this 9122. And you make sure to leave the protocols TCP. Back when I first installed this before Cobia, it was, you had to select one and I tried UDP and it didn't work. So TCP is what you use. And then you just leave everything else the same. And then, okay, let me make this a little smaller. Uh, then you click install. And you just give it a minute while you can see the progress bar loading here. And it's doing its own refreshing. And then if it's not going after a few seconds and you don't see anything, I just refresh the whole page. And you can see SPDF is running here. Um, if I open a new tab and then I go to, let's see text here. And you put in the IP address of your NAS, true NAS, and then you put in the port, which in this case was 9122, and you paste it into 
here. Um, it has an entry from back when I tried installing it earlier and I had to re-record. Um, but if I press enter, you can see it pulls up. So I know it's kind of quick, not a whole lot of explanation, but it's an example of creating a Docker image using the app section in TrueNAS scale. In this context, it'd be Cobia. I hope it helps somebody.